Hello, I'm John Reisman, and this is Centrist News and Perspectives, where we focus on deciphering the reports we hear in the media and present them in relevant context so we can achieve greater understanding. Donald Trump starred in his own show called The Apprentice, where he became famous for saying you're fired. If I were interviewing Donald Trump for a job on The Apprentice, or for the job of president, he would not even make it to the first round. Anyone so disconnected from truth and reality, and who exemplifies such a distinct lack of honor and integrity as he does, for example saying John McCain was a loser because his fighter was shot down by a missile over Hanoi, one of the most dangerous battle zones in Vietnam. Donald Trump has no right to talk. He seems to have dodged the draft, so he would not have to go to Vietnam. He was deemed fit in 1966, was very athletic at the military academy, but in 1968 he was suddenly not fit, maybe because of his father's political connections. His lack of respect for women, where even at the age of 59 years old, he spoke like a teenager about sexually assaulting a woman, and that it was okay because he was a star and he could get away with it. Then there is his lying and cheating contractors by threatening them with litigation and scamming thousands of students at Trump University, which was not even a real university. I would never hire Trump for any position in any project I was running. If I were interviewing Hillary Clinton, the first thing I would notice is she actually has a plan, which she has articulated. Donald Trump has no plan. Most of the time when he's asked about what his plans are, he rambles. For example, Trump says our generals are terrible. But when asked what his plan was to deal with ISIS, Trump says he would ask the generals to come up with a plan. In other words, he has no clue, and he wants the terrible generals to come up with a plan. This is actually ridiculous. Many Republicans don't want to vote for Hillary, mostly because of liberal Republican rhetoric that has demonized her. In social psychology, this is known as creating folk devils. Hillary did not kill anyone in Benghazi. What happened in Benghazi is a combined result of the number of times Republicans voted against funding requests to increase mission security in the years prior to the attack on the compound. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. And of course militants that wanted to attack the compound. It's as simple as that. Regarding the two main applicants for the job of president, I would choose the one that has actual plans to get things done as opposed to the guy that just keeps repeating, it's bad, it's very bad, very bad, terrible. So in this race, and even though I'm a traditional conservative, I'd have to say to Donald Trump, you're fired. I'm John Reisman, and this is Centrist News and Perspectives.